I haven't had loads of trades in for this stuff. The major stuff I have, but in general, I've tried to do as much as I can myself. Hell, oh, exactly how I went from living in this house, in this picture, to this house. So let's go, don't forget to subscribe. One basically a quick overview of what I've done, what we've done with this house since we bought it. Um, look at my other videos on my, on my um, channel. I've catalogued, vlogged all the stuff what I've done with this house. Um, basically, from moving in, from selling a house to moving in, to doing up four houses, and this is the fourth house we've done up. I haven't had loads of trades in for this stuff. The major stuff I have. But in general, I've tried to do as much as I can myself. I got told to trim all these bushes, to take all these conifers out here. There are 10 conifers here. And to trim this bush, this tree down, which is quite big, I need to get them down, actually, would be over a thousand pounds. I bought a harness for 45 quid. I, um, I've got my mum's chainsaw, and I've got um, some trimmers, and I, ripped up the 10 conifers from here and then put all that in there i climbed up there you use my harness and i cut some of the wood took some of the branches down and made it more uh, made it more manageable and i've got to do some more as you can see it needs to cut that i need to cut that bit down there um all this was like way up here past that lamp post i cut that all the way there and at the, and at the front um we put a new front door in, this is all going to be rendered very soon but the English weather has been pretty crap at the minute we put this 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 patio door in because basically before it was um, a, front, a front door there and a window there as you can see it's been bought, um, it's been uh, bricked up and that's going to be covered because it's going to be all rendered uh, that was a front door, that was another front door, that was like a granny annex with a shower room um, it's been over a year, but we're doing a lot of stuff. Basically, as you can see, I don't know if I can find a picture of the kitchen before, but now this is the kitchen. Now, yes, the bin is there, whatever. But we've we had um, we've got an extractor fan up there. We've got all that done, all that's in there. We got we did that done. Um, we put all these quartz countertops in. We can see if I've got a picture of this room, um, basically. But we did all this, painted it, put that put that in, got it plastered. Painted it. Um, I put these these lights in. Um, this bathroom was the bathrooms here. I put in this. I put in the toilet. Didn't put in that. I put the um, shower um, tray in. I also put the shower door in. Is we've got to work on this to make it a bit more nice and presentable, like sand bits like this down, make them nice. And we have, we have got to paint these bits, sand them and paint these. Um, fix up uh, fix up these bits here that are just buggered and I scraped all this, which I really shouldn't have done. We um, put a new, a new bathroom in, new tiles, new bathroom, all this stuff. Made it look really nice. It just looks like before, but you see how this banister comes up and it's all nice like this. Well, before like I'll show you a picture, I'll pop a pop up a piece in a pizza. I'll pop up a picture now of what it looked like before, around there, I think. And then, what have I done in the past week? Bam, bang! There you go. I put that in myself um, in the past week. Uh, now, now, if you get a joint, it would have cost took a day or something like that, maybe a bit more. Probably about a day. It would have cost two hundred and fifty quid plus all the wood this banister cost about 45 quid and then all this wood here i think that cost about 60 60 about 60 70 quid so 120 130 quid give or take to put this banister in and then i had the tools myself to do it the bedrooms get in there clean up those um skirting boards um, paint a bit more. This is getting all um, wallpapered. This this um, this wall. I put that in myself. All that myself. And and then obviously you've got the uh, you've seen the V looks I think before. And they put a V looks in here in this house. 
nice Velux. Before it was very, very dark. That Velux was put in um, by a professional, but I plasterboarded around it to make it look really nice. I put these spotlights in. Obviously, it needs a bit more painting around the place. But what else is there in this house? This is the scary room that well, I did. A, I did a video basically about a scary room, and now basically now it's just uh, my little storage room, as you can see. Nice little storage room for all my uh, work stuff and my tools. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I added that piece of wood. This piece of wood actually, if you, if you saw in the picture prior, there was a little. Um, a little piece of wood in the middle to hold up the two strips of wood that was this I cut it to size on the, down there bought this I, I wanted to do it in one piece but I couldn't get it up the stairs with one piece so I cut it in half screwed it back together and I cut all these pieces of wood and put it in and the wife's super happy we've done a hell of a lot of stuff ourselves to save on and now we wanted it we want to get it rendered but the weather is doing our head in with this house so, because we need to get scaffolding up, that costs money. Then the rendering, all that stuff, preparing the outside, putting the like the matting, uh, netting stuff to put your, put your render over to hold it on. It's going to take a while. So I don't know if it's going to be this year or next year. And obviously my next door neighbour needs some stuff doing, so he's got to have some of the scaffolding on his side. So it's keeping him in the know as well as us. Um, but uh, let's go downstairs and explain. I'm going to explain basically. Uh, what's happening and what's what's to come next all right it's really when you find a good trade stick with them we found some good trades and we're sticking with them because it's so hard to find a real good not affordable but worth the money trade because it does a good job like if you can learn to do things yourself like joinery changing lights in the house painting the odd little bit of plumbing if you can learn how to do it there's everything's on YouTube if you can learn how to do that kind of stuff do it. If it's your own house, what does it matter? If it's your own house, just do it. If you make a mistake, you know you'll wait for it to dry, you chisel it off and you start again. Or you wait for it to dry and you go over it again, you try and do it again. Learn, learn, learn. Don't out I know you you point, oh well you're taking money away from trades. Not every trade is great. Also, we've been through four plasters in the house, in this house. Two of them have been crap. And two have been really good. Good trades are hard to find. When you can find one, stick with them. And but if, like I said, if you can do your stuff yourself, do stuff yourself. But there anyway. Thanks for letting me waffle in on. <laughs> I mean, you know, I waffle on, but that's just the way it is. And you might think I'm daft, but I am. But me and my wife, I won't say we're frugal. We, but we we watch our money. We I like to put my money into things that are going to improve and help me and help me learn. I bought tools and I'll. And I use those tools for many things that's made my life so much easier. If I had to, if I had to cut those spindles and that, that banister upstairs by hand, there's no way I would have been able to get those angles perfect. But I used the commiter saw to get them perfect, and it helped me so much. And when I put in the loft, the loft ladder in, it helped me so much to do that because I got a circular saw and I cut the wood. I did cut the wood and I used a miter saw to cut all the banisters. I did everything. It was it was amazing. And they've helped me so much, these tools. So buy tools and do the job yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know I'm a bit, I haven't got many subscribers. Subscribe for me, it's free to subscribe. I wouldn't mind by the end of the year, 2023, having almost a thousand subscribers. It probably isn't gonna happen because I've been doing this YouTube now for six years and I've only got 491 subscribers. So I'm not making any money off it. So I'm, it's just all a hobby for me. How have I got 30,000 views, 20,000 views, 10,000 views, 5,000 views on some videos? And I'm like, come on now, just hit that subscribe button and like button. You can't do something. Learn from it. How do you think I learn how to, how to do stuff? YouTube and if you try to figure it out myself. But anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all soon. And uh, what can I say? Do your house up. Boom.